Hey everybody, welcome to Colin's Creatures. This is my wall of invertebrates, and in my hand is a Madagascar giant cockroach. There are many terms that one may refer to this animal as. Is it a bug, an insect, or an invertebrate? Well, it's kind of all three. So that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be discussing these terms, plus one more. And after I discuss these terms, I'll be showing examples from my many encounters while filming for Colin's Creatures. This is a warty glow spot roach, and the first term we'll be discussing is invertebrate. And the definition of an invertebrate is any animal that lacks a backbone, or any bones for that matter. And some examples of invertebrates are... Asian forest scorpions. Giant clams. Beetles. Anemones. Snails. Cuttlefish and their relatives, octopuses and squid. Tarantulas. Jumping spiders. Hermit crabs. Millipedes. Crayfish. Leeches. Mantises. Earthworms. Not the axolotl, just the earthworm. Hammerhead worms, which are a kind of flatworm. Butterflies. And jellyfish. And there are many, many more animals that are known as invertebrates, so it would be impossible to give an example of each of them. And you may have picked up that some of the animals I mentioned are not all insects or bugs. The next term is arthropods, which are invertebrates with jointed legs, a hard exoskeleton, and segmented bodies. And, and arthropods have four main groups, three of which you have definitely heard, and the fourth you know what they are, but you may not know the term for them. The first term is insects. Insects are arthropods that have a three-segmented body, a defined head, thorax, and abdomen, as well as three pairs of legs, they have six in total, and they have antennae as well as at least two to four uh, wings. Well, whether these wings are functional or not depends on the insect. Some examples of insects are cockroaches like the one I'm holding, but also tiny little springtails, which are one of the few insects that do not have wings. Ants. Beetles, like this goliath beetle. These darkling beetles. this stag beetle, and this Hercules beetle. Bees, mantises, like this dead leaf mantis, this flower mantis, and this unicorn mantis. Katydids, grasshoppers, diving beetles, stick insects, and moths. The next group of arthropods is arachnids, and arachnids have four pairs of legs, so they have eight in total, along with two body segments, a cephalothorax and an abdomen. 
And my first example of an arachnid is Peyton, my Arizona blonde tarantula. Some other examples of arachnids are more tarantulas, like my Venezuelan blue bloom tarantula, Brazilian blonde tarantulas, Choco golden knee tarantulas, curly hair tarantulas, Ecuadorian bird eater tarantulas, fire leg tarantulas, and flame knee tarantulas. Other spiders, like black hole spiders, golden orb weaver spiders, and jumping spiders. Scorpions, like desert hairy scorpions, and emperor scorpions, as well as some weird ones, like camel spiders, whip scorpions, red leg vinegaroons, and giant vinegaroons. This class also includes mites and ticks. The next class of arthropods is crustaceans, Crustaceans are hard-shelled organ invertebrates that have many pairs of legs, and they typically are aquatic, though some do live on land. And examples of, in of crustaceans are crabs, like this giant Japanese spider crab, coconut crabs, golden land crabs, moon crabs, hermit crabs, and vampire crabs. Crayfish and their larger saltwater cousins, lobsters, and this guy's special because he's blue, spiny lobsters, shrimp, and isopods. And the last main group of arthropods, which you definitely know what they are, but you may not have heard of this term, are the myriapods, which are arthropods that have elongated bodies and many, many leg-bearing segments. These include millipedes, like ivory millipedes, and giant African millipedes, and centipedes, like tiger centipedes, and giant Vietnamese centipedes. And there are some weird things that kind of go into their own group of arthropods, and these include sea spiders and horseshoe crabs. This is a Simondoan cave roach, which are extinct in the wild, and my last term is bug. Bug can be used as a generic term for any small insect or invertebrate, but the true entomological definition of bug is an insect in the order Hemiptera, which have long sucking mouth parts, and this includes cicadas, aphids, bed bugs, stink bugs, and the only one that I have a video example of, assassin bugs. So in conclusion, cockroaches are kind of all three. They're definitely invertebrates, they're in the class Insecta, and if you use the generic definition of bug, they're bugs as well. But technically, they're only invertebrates and insects as they're not part of the order Hemiptera. So that is invertebrates, insects, and bugs. I hope you enjoyed and expanded your vocabulary a little bit more 
I learned a lot about these terms while I was researching for this video. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see you next time on Collins Creatures.